When you talk about your 1964, did you ever think in 2014 you'd be making a living as a bass player? Well, I think you'd agree, and all of us, and all any of those. I mean, McCartney was asked at the time the Beatles were big. How long do you think it will last? He said, "Well, I hope it lasts five years." I mean, <laughs> and it's it's just a wonderful uh, synthesis of great music. That's, I mean, that we've got a great new song that Rod's written. We're recording it now. It's called New York, and it's all about, it's not autobiographical, it's about the zombies getting off the plane in New York in 1964 to do the Murray the K show at the Brooklyn Fox. And it's all about them. I walked into your city streets and walked into a dream. Took me to uh, the Brooklyn Fox. It's all in the lyrics, so their dream you know, they were nowhere as big as the Beatles, but they, you know, they were living that dream. We still are. It's just unbelievable. And it's, that's going to be on a brand new album. New York's all about the tour in the States and the magic of it all. And we still go back, like we did Central Park last year, and sold out. Brilliant. So, you didn't think it was going to last a few years, but here we still are. Because that music that you produced, then us, Oh, that's right. One of the lyrics is, um, I went to the Brooklyn Fox. So Patty LaBelle and the Bluebells took our breath away. She took us to Aretha Franklin, showed us so much soul. Let us join the party with our English rock and roll. They would jam in the bus. See what I mean? Well, that's the beginnings of... Then we start producing great stuff over here. It all comes back. To America, they think you all think it's brand new. It's not. It's just what you g gave us, all thrown back in a small band format, and it's still progressing. I think it's gone beyond state of the art now. Everything's been done, in my opinion. But uh, I think that's why it's lasted so long. It's the classical music of its time. Well, it's interesting. I was going to ask you um, if now being out there recording and playing, if it feels similar, this is the same kind of feeling you have now than back when you played in 1964, 65. And it's interesting that you're writing, you're doing a song about, that Rod wrote about doing that. So is the feeling for you the same now as it was? It is, because we're getting audiences again now that, loads of youngsters, but even the old enthused people that, uh, I don't think they see a real band much anymore. They haven't got playback and aids on stage. We just give it, what we have and uh, we're recording like we used to again you know we used, we've been all been through the uh, pro tools and stuff like that now we're rehearsing the songs in the small room trying them on stage re recording them like that all right the vocals we probably do separately but it's you know drums and everybody in the same room and it's you know come back to real again rather than it's you know homogenized music and i think it gives it a definite edge.